just before I play my next instalment of uh, when Christians get cornered they get angry um, I actually come up with a comment at the very end uh, you know that when Jeff D and Matt Dillahunty are going to host their show you know and a Christian calls in, you know that sparks are going to fly. <laughs> Here it is. All right, we've got Denise in Portland. How are you? Good, how are you? We're doing well. Hi, Denise. What's up? Um, well, I'm on a Facebook. It's called the Holy Bible Page, and one of the atheists kind of challenged us to call in, so I did. And oh. I am a Christian and make no bones about it. Okay. okay. And what can we do for you? I don't just called in the chat. Um, about anything in particular? Now, well, you know, it's really disheartening how many of the atheists are former believers, and I realize that. But I don't think they realize what's going to happen to them in the end. I think I mean, you're right. You know, I don't think any I of us know what's going to happen to us. I'm sorry. And where are they going to end up when they die? You, I mean, I'll just you be quiet. Thought now. about it. But uh, what you you say you believe in a liter literal hell? Yes, I do. And you think that we atheists deserve to go there? No. We don't. I don't. I don't then want how to see come? Go. Then how but come? I, then how come I you, ma'am? Yeah, Denise? go ahead. So if you, you believe there's a hell, and you yep. believe the atheists are going to go there, because yep. cause why? Your God's going to send us there, right? No. They no? send themselves there by no, 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 Jesus no. No, 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 that's yeah, silly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's silly. I'm choosing right now, silly. I don't want to go to hell, okay? You so now your God has the option of either sending me or not. Jesus has thrown you a life preserver. That's why he's called the Savior. Uh, Ma'am? You guys have been ridiculous enough to reject it. Where did, where did hell come from? It's in the Bible. He spoke about it many times. I believe in it. If you don't... No, no, no. no. I, Denise, I'm just asking a question. Did God create hell? Well, actually, God originally created hell for Satan and his demons. We so, weren't supposed to go there. Sure. So what what determination was there in your religion? Why, why did God decide to start sending people to hell? I mean, you don't Again, think... Again, he doesn't send them to hell. You guys send yourselves. Okay. Uh, we don't. That's nonsense. Yeah, we have the choice. Is. We have the choice. We choose not to go. Now, your God is back. The ball's back in his court. If he wants to send us, he can. Is he going to? You send yourselves. I no, we don't. That's ridiculous. You send yourself. No, he that's ridiculous, ma'am. Here's the thing, Denise. It doesn't matter how many times you keep repeating this. I'm trying well, to. You keep repeating your stuff. That I, I'm. Let me let me try something. I tried something else, which was, did God create hell? If so, then He's ultimately responsible for it. Correct? Does He not make the rules? Do things not As happen? I said, that do, was Denise, 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 Denise. Do things not happen according to your God's will? Does he not already know? He's everybody's God. You keep referring to him as my God. He's everyone's God. No, he's not my God. I don't even believe he exists. But in any case, I don't care whether... In any case, I don't care how you pretend to label. I'm trying to get to the, to the source of the problem here. And, it, and it's this. Because you, you, you were saying you know, Jesus threw, threw you a life preserver. As far as I'm concerned, um, within the bounds of your theology, Jesus kicked me overboard. Because you you he believe didn't kick you overboard, you're, you're sure he did May I? sure he did because May I? And hang on okay did your God create hell yes she or said, no she said yes yes okay does your God create the rules of the universe including the criteria by which souls are judged yes it, does anything happen that doesn't go according to your God's will no then your God is ultimately responsible for everything including the people who he sends to hell. So messed up. I mean, yeah, that, that logic <laughs> stuff. It's it a real pain in the ass, isn't it? It is messed up, ma'am. And when you reject and, him, that's the dumbest thing you could possibly and, do. That's why he's called the Savior. And, and I have a question. Go ahead. What are we being yeah. saved? What are you being? What are we being saved from exactly? You're being saved 
from eternal damnation. But why, hell. Um, hell. Have you ever been a Christian? Yes, I was. For how many years? Oh, till I was about 21, 22. What happened? Uh, we understand. Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I thought about whether there was any reason to believe any of that stuff, and uh, I f and it and it scared me because I had been raised to believe in a you know a kind and loving God, but you know to fear this kind and loving God, and so every time it it, it occurred to me to question that my fear got in the way. Eventually, I said to myself, you know. If God is really kind and loving, he's not going to mind me using my brain, the brain that he gave me, to think clearly, carefully, and rationally about the stuff that I've been taught and to make my own decision. And the moment that I realized a kind and loving God would not, uh, is, it was not to be feared uh, when, I, when I'm considering you know, rethinking my beliefs, that gave me the freedom to think clearly about my beliefs, and within a minute, I realized this is all nonsense. I'm an atheist, and and I'll actually go one step further here. And and even if I were to concede your, your what I consider to be a ridiculous framing that God doesn't send people to hell, people to send send themselves to hell. Even if I were to accept that, um, I won't even necessarily go to the mafia boss analogy that I think is completely valid. Um, my my point of view is this. 